Pollen's Cold Cream Cleanser. If you can see. Hey y'all. Okay, so today I'm going to do just a fall makeup look. I'm gonna go in with this spray. And spray it on my face. This foundation is literally, it's a drugstore. I think it costs like 11 or $13. But they've also came out with this one, Total Coverage. But this one I got at the end of summer and is way too dark for me. Shade 104. And so I'm going to um, tone it with 301 of Total Coverage. So I'm just going to go in with my Beauty Blender and dab this all over my face. A lot of people do I go in with powder and put it over my foundation and then I go in with concealer but I'm going in with the Tarte powder foundation in the shade light medium neutral Gosh, this color is perfect for me but other angles I'm like eh. next I'm gonna go in with this concealer, it is by Maybelline, The Age Rewind. This is stuff is literally my favorite. Can you see that? Hold on, the lights are glaring off. This concealer is really, it. when you're twisting the thing, you would think it's going to be really thick. But in all honesty, it's really not. It's really thin and lightweight, and it blends amazingly. Look at that. Yes, I know. Concealer, I'm gonna go in with the Dermablend Professional Loose Setting Powder. Beverly Hills Brow Definer in the shade Caramel. I typically use the Dip Brow, but I think I left my brush in my friend's house or something. Hmm. I slowly just like gradiently fill it in. Because I haven't used this thing in forever because I, I'm pretty sure I left it in my friend Alexis's house and I was over there last night. And so I haven't had to use this thing in forever. So my brows are gonna look ratchet, okay? Alright, they're gonna look ratchet. Okay. But it's the, just the powder brush kind of that I went in and put my powder on with. And I'm just gonna kind of brush that setting off. Okay, now I'm gonna go in with my modern Renaissance Anastasia Beverly. I love it, I love it, I love it a lot, a lot, a lot. Ooh! So, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to go in with the shade Tempera, and I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills pa I mean, brush, God, I cannot talk, that came with the palette. I'm just going to go in and put that all up. I'm using my finger. I always use my finger. <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to use my brushes, but if I have to use my finger, I'm going to use my finger, but you can use your brush. Or you can try your finger, because I love using my finger. Then I'm gonna go in with the raw sienna and burnt orange color and just use that kind of as my transition color and start way out here by the brow and just kind of go back and forth. Okay, so that's the look I have so far. Um, then I'm gonna go in with the red ocher and V and tin, however you say it, red, both of these right here. Then I'm gonna go in, I cannot read it upside down, with my Vermeer and Primavera, Primavera, both of these sparkly shades right there, and just apply it right in that wider part. Oh, 
I'm going to go in and do some eyeliner. I'm going to use the Kat Von D liner, liquid liner, in Trooper. I'm, I'm going to try to do it in this mirror, but if it looks janky, it's because I did it in this mirror, because I never do it in this mirror. Oh, cool. Okay. Can y'all see that? go in and do some <laughs> just kidding I'm gonna go in and put some bronzer and some contour on so I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D contour palette I'm gonna use this middle shade just because I'm very pale well it's my excess and I always start with my forehead just gonna do my jawline just to make it look more sharp because I have a really round face can't tell because I just contoured my face but I have a really really round face <laughs> then I'm gonna contour my nose I have a little button nose so I always I don't always contour it but I still use my same brush except I pinch it so it's kind of like that and then I lay it down pull off my excess and literally go like that I'm starting I go like that What is my hair doing? I got such a bad forehead! Can it work with me? I don't think it's gonna work with me. Now, this part is my favorite part! I love mascara! So, when I'm like wanting my mascara to, I mean, excuse me. When I'm wanting my eyeshadow to look darker, I curl my lashes. Then I'm gonna go in with my Voluminous Superstar mascara. Okay, next I'm gonna go back in with my Kat Von D and apply it right underneath my waterline. I don't put it on my water. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Anyways, I don't put it on my waterline just because my eyes water. Okay, now another one of my favorite things is blush. So I'm gonna go in with the Bare Minerals Ready Blush in shade The Natural High. This makes me feel like I'm six again. I'm going to dance with be a ballerina. Mommy, we need my makeup. That's how it makes me feel. <laughs> okay, next I'm going to go in with my Milani Matte Naked Lipstick. And it is in color 61. No, it is not brand Urban Decay. I got it from the dollar store. What the? This is my old one. See how much I used it? Like I said, I'm broke. And so if you can get a high-end or a product that's cheaper... It works just as cool and you do it. Sometimes I just kind of rub it off just because it looks a little red. Like right now it looks a little red. But I'm going to go in with my Boxum. I, I love this lip gloss but I have no clue how to say it. This is the White Russian Limited Edition with a cute little diamond on top. And then I'm just gonna put some lip gloss on. Give my lips some shimmer. 
Then I'm gonna put some highlighter on. Okay, so my all-time favorite highlighter is Becca highlighter, but, but, I have one thing I don't like about it and that's why I just can't buy it anymore. It's expensive, or to me it's expensive because once again I'm broke. And it breaks all the time. Every If I accidentally drop it or if I set it down too hard, it'll break. And I don't like that. So, I'm going to go in with my BH Cosmetics Carly by Belle 10 color eyeshadow and 4 color highlight palette. I love it. I also love her. I love watching her makeup tutorials. Anyways, I'm going to go in with this color highlighter and just apply it to the tip of my nose. The bridge of my nose. But not too much. My cupid's bow. Yeah. I used to be like, I don't like highlighter, it makes me look sweaty. But now I kind of like it because it makes your look like, look, look finished. And that is a get ready with me. I'll take this down. My hair looks so nappy. Okay. Ew! I should have just left the headband on. Okay, anyways. This is a get ready with me video. Don't forget to subscribe and to like. Comment any type of videos you would like to see. Any products you would like me to compare, contrast, tell you my pros and cons. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you.